Hello there. Welcome to another edition of Citizens of the Stars, our weekly look at the amazing content creations made by you, the Star Citizen community. I'm your host this week, Community Content Manager Jared Huckabee, here in yet another office in our CIG LA studios after being unceremoniously evicted from my last one. But to get things started this week, we're going to throw it over to... Um, it's me. It's, it's me. We're going to throw it over to me in this week's uh, Citizen Spotlight. <clears throat> Thanks. Hey everybody, welcome to Citizen Spotlight, where we take a look at the amazing content creations made by you, the Star Citizen community. And joining us on the show this week is master of Quantum Drive, Mr. Jimmy Crocker. Jimmy, how you doing, man? I'm doing good, how you doing? I'm doing well. Now, you're part of several Star Citizen fan-created podcasts, you know, content things out there. Why don't you give us the rundown on everything that you're involved in? Sure. Uh, I am uh, part of the Those Guys With Ships community. Uh, I co-host uh, Versecast, and uh, I absolutely love doing that with that crew. And then I also do for the base, uh, base radio, uh, I do a serial, a uh, radio serial called Quantum Drive. Okay, now I know you're not supposed to pick favorites, but we both know your favorite is Quantum Drive. So tell us more about that. What's Quantum Drive? So uh, I absolutely love uh, Versecast. Uh, those guys are fantastic, but really my passion project is Quantum Drive. The show's on its fourth season right now. It uh, plays on the base. Uh, Thursday nights, 9 p.m. is when I live stream. Uh, and then it's uh, played again in repeat on Saturdays at 1 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. Uh, and then it's also rebroadcast the Thursday morning before the new show, uh, it's around 6 a.m. The long and the short is that uh, basically my character is telling you about his life as a data runner and a smuggler. Uh, and the music that I play is all over the map, predominantly rock, uh, but uh, anything from uh, the Rolling Stones to Queens of the Stone Age, uh, Arctic Monkeys, Portishead, uh, and everything in between. And of course, this isn't like a podcast. Folks can't download it. They have to tune in live to catch it when it airs. How does that work? Correct. It's, it's legit like an old-timey radio show. Um, because the music's copywritten, uh, there is no place to download it, so you have to tune in to catch the show. But again, there's always repeats, uh, and occasionally I do Sunday marathons, so there's always a, a, a number of ways to catch the show. Well, Jimmy, thanks for being on the show. With that, guys, let's throw it over to uh, This Week in Star Citizen. Hey everyone, and welcome to another round of Quantum Questions. Let's jump right to it and see who's in the Quantum Questions hot seat. Hey, how do you think you're gonna do today? Uh, all right. Do you think you'll be able to beat Mike Jones? Who? Mike Jones, Jones. How many questions did he get? He got 20. No, but my answers are gonna be better. All right, well, let's go ahead and see by putting two minutes on the clock and go. What is your name and what do you do? I'm Spencer Johnson. I'm a gameplay engineer here in LA. How did you get to work today? I rode a unicycle because my bike tire is flat. What are you working on for 3.0? I've been working on shops, kiosks, uh, the whole buying process, as well as things like insurance. Basically, if you spend money on it, like in-game money, it probably goes through my code. What has been the most challenging thing while working on the shop kiosks? <laughs> there's, there's been a bunch of things. Uh, I would say the asynchronous events. There's a lot of communication that happens between the UI and then the shop itself, and everything is asynchronous, communicating a lot of information from the cargo manager down to the shop, to the UI, back to the shop, all these asynchronous messages. What can you tell us about ship insurance? So insurance is a pretty cool process. It gets break, uh, broken down to a few steps. Um, if your ship is destroyed or you lose it or maybe you got lots of money, you get a single scratch and you're like, I need to replace that, uh, you file a claim on your insurance, which will remove the previous ships uh, from your persistence. You've got a brand new entity entitled to you, whole new entity ID. And then once you do that, you can pay your deductible. You will wait a processing time and then you can spawn your ship again. 
In addition to that, you could also pay for expedited processing, all using in-game money, so that you can get your ship back to you quicker than ever. Is a player's deductible ship specific? So every ship does have a deductible based off the cost of that ship. Um, but what's really cool is if you go and crash your Hornet, and then later on you, uh, you, know, you file a claim for it, and then you crash a Connie later, the deductible on your Connie is going to be more because you've you're clearly crashing a lot of ships. You can't be trusted. The insurance is not like you. And one bonus question. What happens if you don't have insurance? So in 3.0, all ships will have insurance. There's no concept of premiums in different plans. Um, but in the future, when we roll out different aspects of the insurance system, um, there's going to be several options. You're probably going to want to talk to a designer about that because I haven't coded it yet. So I don't think I could give you a good answer. Well, that's all the time we have. Thank you so much for joining us today. All right. Well, Spencer goes on the board with seven questions answered correctly. He was right, he didn't beat Mike Jones, but he had some cool answers about ship insurance, and he may be the only CIG developer who can ride a unicycle. Let's throw it over to Alexis for this week's Subconscious. Hey everyone, I'm Alexis, and it's time for another edition of Subconscious, the mini show that's just for development subscribers. First up, let's talk flair. Last week, we introduced a brand new Flair series, Schematics. Before Asperia produced working recreations of historic and alien ships, its founders Jovi and Theo Engstrom obsessively collected ship blueprints. And now you can too. Thanks to Asperia's digital archives, the original schematics for the Hurricane and Terrapin are now available for you to display in your hangar. Each month, we'll introduce a new pair of schematics, so let me know what ships you'd like to see explored down the line. Jumping to my next point, it's time for another issue of Jump Point. The August edition is packed full of good stuff, including a portfolio on Tumbrel, a work in progress look at the Ursa, a brand new lore piece exploring the moons of Crusader, and some very cool new fiction. Keep an eye on the subsection of your account on Friday for this month's issue. Finally, just another reminder that the August ship of the month is the Gian Cartual. I've seen some great footage and screenshots of subscribers scouting around the verse. Check out this beautiful shot of the Cartual submitted by Ziff with his friend's buccaneer in the distance. Remember to post your footage in the stickied post in the subscriber's den, and we'll show off our favorites all month long. That wraps it up for this week. I'll see you all in the den. Hey everyone, Tyler Whitkin here to bring you... Excuse me, Quantum Champion coming through. Oh! This week's top five and MVP. Number five goes to Narion for some absolutely stunning 4K screenshots from Area 18. These seriously blew me away. Number four goes to Glacier for creating some epic and hilarious Operation Pitchfork posters. Down with the Vanduul. Number three goes to Schnitzel for his gallery of screenshots highlighting the extreme nature of ship surfing. Now I hope your character has LTI. Number two, Monk for his awesome star citizen, no, sorry. Seuss Citizen video titled One Ship, Two Ship. Two words, well done. Number one in this week's MVP goes to Traz Ion and friends who worked together to present Star Citizen at the Let's Play Gaming Expo. It looked like a lot of work went into planning such a fun booth and we were thrilled to see that you all had such a good time. So congratulations again, y'all are this week's MVP. <laughs> Well, that's all for this week's show. A big thanks to Jimmy Crocker and Spencer Johnson for joining us this week. And remember, if you want a chance of having your own content being featured on this show, you can do so by submitting it on our community hub. Well, that's all for this week's show, and we'll see you next week. I beat it. I made it. What's, what's going on? It's already done, man. See you later. Thank you for watching. So if you want to keep up with the latest and greatest in the Star Citizen and Squadron 42's development, please follow us on our social media channels. See you soon.